kid with disabilities has always got a smile on his face. I mean, that just makes you, you know, wonder like, oh, why, why am I, you know, moping around? And why am I feeling insecure and down about myself? If Big Dom can do it, then I can too. I'm so proud of being a Ball State Cardinal. Trip trip. I'm Don Lander, and I'm, and I'm along the Ball State football team. Dom is very sports oriented. He loves being social. He loves interacting with others. Um, he just wants to be part of a team. He would always watch sports um, on the TV. He would always talk stats. He loves stats. He loves numbers. He, it makes sense to him. So Dom, he's his own kind of unique personality. And it comes off a little quirky at times. And I think sometimes with his challenges and sometimes his language skills, people don't give him enough credit. He doesn't fit the norm, and he's okay with that. He's fine with just kind of being who he is and liking what he likes and is very content just being okay being him. I'm proud to be who I am. The disease I have is myocondria disease and it makes me tired. So when he was little, um, from the very beginning, we knew something seemed off. They just said he was a big baby, lazy, um, and kept going to the doctor. He just, he, I don't know, he had swallowing issues. He fatigued quicker than kids his age. Um, like he could do skills, but he just couldn't do the skills very long. So the mitochondria are basically the powerhouses of a cell. Uh, they make the energy for a cell. So the mitochondrial diseases are a group of uh, often genetic uh, inherited disorders um, which really affect the cell's ability to make energy for the body. So on average it's, it's thought that maybe one in 5,000 individuals uh, has some type of mitochondrial disorder. Um, roughly 1,000 to 4,000 kids are diagnosed uh, annually with a mitochondrial disorder. It's definitely challenging. It's hard knowing that your child will have struggles that others may not and will have to always work very hard. But with that being said, there have been lots of opportunities that Dom has had over the years that others haven't had. The Ball State football team by far has made him who he is. We, we miss this guy, he's a big part of our football team. When I was you know, approached with the opportunity and our golf men's golf program here uh, was involved in a partnership with Team Impact and uh, when I learned a little bit more uh, about, that, what, about what that uh, was, it was a no-brainer to want to be a part of that. I remember we adopted a kid from the pro from the program, right? And uh, and uh, just ever since then, he's just always been a part of the team. Had his own locker in our locker room. Always been showing up to the home games. Um, just really, just been a part of the team. I just remember being in this uh, you know team meeting room here, and we had a little signing day uh, celebration to welcome Dom. You know, I was able to hand Dom his jersey uh, to sign, uh, you know, his letter of intent to be part of our program. And, uh, and I remember certainly right after we were done with that, uh, we walked down the hallway uh, to make sure he saw uh, where his locker was at in the locker room. And, you know, he is part of our team and every time uh, that we share in a special moment around here, certainly Dom's a big part of that. Both these teams have achieved uh, the, really the ultimate goal of coming into every season the last two years. Ball State winning the Mid-American Conference in 2020, NIU winning the MAC last year in 2021. For a while that Bronstock matchup was dominated by Northern Illinois, but the past couple of years it's been going back and forth.
19 yards for the Huskies to stay alive. Hampton back to throw. LeBron Stock oh, Trophy oh, is coming oh, back to oh. Muncie. Well, I think that he's just had an impact on everybody, everybody that he's touched and everybody that he's came in contact with just because of, like you say, he always carrying a smile on his face, always has a positive attitude. We draw inspiration from him yeah, because he's uh, dealing with real life adversity. Uh, our guys, myself, are very fortunate uh, to play the game of football and you know, no matter what the outcome is, win, lose, or draw, uh, we're going to be able to, to play another game uh, and for Dom to not be able to do that, to still always maintain such a positive attitude, such a positive outlook. I uh, really admire that about him and really looked up, look up to him for that. He in the game right here, Big Dom. Hey, he the reason we won, not me, not him, not him. Big Dom is the reason. So, I mean, I kind of look at Dom as like a leader, a kid with disabilities is always got a smile on his face. I mean, that just makes you, you know, wonder like, oh, why, why am I, you know, moping around? And why am I feeling insecure and down about myself? If Big Dom can do it, then I can too. I always worried when he was younger, like, what is life going to look like? Is, how is he going to be perceived by others? How is he going to struggle? And this just provides him a form of happiness that I wouldn't have been able to provide him without the opportunity. We're very fortunate uh, to be around young men like Dom and to be around his family and to know that you know he is part of our team. So anybody that's involved with this Ball State family is considered a brother for life to me. And Dom has been a part of the brotherhood really since I've been a part of the brotherhood. So. Uh, that's what I really mean about being a teammate and a brother for life. Because, I mean, he is one. Because he is a part of this team. I'm so proud of being a Ball State Cardinal. Chirp, chirp.